Alright, hey everyone, welcome to Beyond Human. This is another sort of thing I'm doing, trying to step away from League of Legends, because I think just doing the same thing over and over again can get a bit repetitive. So I just wanted to try this out. This was a free game I found on Indiegogo. Indiegogo. It was a free indie game I found. It wasn't on Indiegogo don't have the site open anymore but basically I just googled free indie games and this was on one of the first game jolt that's what it was so I found this game on game jolt it looked really cool it was you know one of the more popular games they had and let me actually turn on some light there so you can actually see me and this game as you can see it's on Kickstarter it's got 15 days left that's September the 6th if it's not funded by September the 6th, which it doesn't look like it will be, then it's not going to be turned into a full game. But it is really cool. And what happened was, I originally recorded me playing through most of like, this first little intro section. And then I realized that I had the desktop audio muted in OBS. So, a lot of what you'll see is going to be me post a little bit of the early learning curve. So hopefully I won't make as many dumb mistakes early on. Uh, I'm going to just play through it, just a fresh slot, just so that you guys can see everything that's going on. So yeah, I'm glancing over, checking to make sure audio's going. So same sort of basic controls. Uh, for me personally, since this isn't one of the regular supported, regularly supported controllers, this is one of the Logitech controllers. Controls are a little bit awkward. And here's one thing I struggled with. For some reason, I couldn't get myself to hold on to the edge. Alright, I just sort of, sort of get caught out here and like hit my face on the edge and wouldn't be able to get up, but now I can't seem to do the same thing. So I don't know. I later found out that this was destructible, but you do need a special weapon that we're going to get later for it, and it took me forever to realize that. And so hopefully I won't have as many stupid early deaths to some of these guys, because it really was pathetic. And these assholes are like the bane of my existence. And it doesn't even seem like they gave me much money, if any. So I'm gonna try and kill another one, see if it gets me money. If it doesn't get me money. I missed time to jump. I get some out of it. And this game is very forgiving about restarting and whatnot. You just lose some of the your acquired cash. Holy hell Oh my god. That's what I was talking about, how these things always manage to hit me, they're like the ban of my existence. And that hits your ankles if you don't jump over it, fun fact. So, we do have to get back out to that area. And this game does have a little bit of a learning curve, so a lot of things you see me do, or you're seeing me do right now, are things that I didn't do on my first time through. And so I just sort of learned my lesson over time. And I'm just waiting for one of these rooms, because one of these rooms royally messed me up. Oh yeah, here is a checkpoint. So I could also get this shotgun upgrade. Which, when I was using it, it didn't really work out well for me at all. Because you have to use energy in order to, like, actually do stuff with it. Which you don't even get until later. And you need the energy for evasive maneuvers. But just sort of looking through this from, like, an art perspective, I really love how this game looks. It looks really clean. And the controls, once you get the hang of them, are pretty smooth. 
There are a couple things that don't work out too well. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty nice, actually. Uh, if I can just maximize the damage I take, that'd be great. Alright, so this guy's gonna shoot at like the perfect time, right? <sighs> Am I gonna die to these things? I swear, if I die to these things, I'm gonna be so upset. Because I just want the money from them. So this was where we got our energy. And I'll show you guys the thing that I totally messed up, right? So jumping in while in midair to boost. And now I didn't read that handy tooltip there to boost forward. Because you can just boost through that. So I died to these electric fence things just because I wasn't paying enough attention. And now I'm going to die to... Okay, he at least dropped health for me, which is pretty nice of him. Tink, 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 tink. And they don't shoot at you unless they see you, so I can just kill the guy on the other side of the screen. I know it's kinda gimmicky. This was another area I didn't get to explore. Okay. So, again, that has that little breakable panel, and I didn't notice that I didn't explore that area, so that's some place I have to go back to. If I remember what I did. That... What? Oh yeah, and then you have to go back through this door. And get... I don't think I'm gonna do any better, because I think with this health, this guy one-shots me, right? I might be able to do it. Like a, oh my god, you see, one shot almost kills me. Let's be very... Very careful, I was about to say, until he just ended my life right there. But I'm pretty sure he disappears after that, so I can just collect all my money again. And you see, it's completely clear. I don't remember exactly where I went, to be honest, though. Ow. So, I am sort of exploring through this area again. Now, uh, here's a side door that... Really? Oh, yeah, no. This is not very cool. This guy was a pain in the ass to kill. Alright, same sort of damn near in the sh Ah, crap, I reset it. That's not cool at all. It does a lot of damage and is really hard to kill. So as long as I step out of range, I can just sort of kill him from off screen. But it does take a while, so he's not too bad once you figure out what to do. So here we get keycard M, which allows us to open magenta doors. Now, as you can see on the mini-map, I'm going to use my mouse here. This is the one magenta door we've seen, so we have to head back down there. It's not too far away, but guess who resets? This guy, but he doesn't look like he becomes, you know, deadly unless you shoot him. But I do think we want to get some more of those little credit things. Because in the end, you can get a bunch of sword upgrades that are fairly expensive, but they seem really cool and really helpful. And he drops 200 of them. And so I think I'll be able to farm that later on just to try, if I'm paying attention, don't get killed by this guy. I'll be able to just farm that later on. We're going to head through this magenta door now. 
And this is how we pick up our sword. And so my only complaint with a sword is that you have to cancel it, cancel the animation with a jump, because otherwise it takes so long. Like, here's sword jump, it's pretty instant. Here's sword shot. It doesn't really, you don't really get the, the shot off anyways. And then you also have that charge attack, which breaks down all these barriers. And so, I'm gonna head back up to the one that I'm, like, pretty sure I forgot. Oh, uh, he's alive still. I th for some reason I think it one-hit killed. So this is an area that really sucks. I'm gonna have to, I'll just show you guys right now. Hey, awesome. I got a health upgrade. Oh, where, where's the hop down? Where's the hop down? Where's the hop down? So he killed me before. I think we got away though. I'm not gonna head back up there to check. So these guys get one shot by that, which is nice, because you can just pick up the cash. Ah, oh, that barely missed. Oh well. And that sword thing's like the best weapon you have. Because it cuts through all the projectiles. And it also does so much damage. But it uses up the energy, which is what you need for these dashes. So, I'll get back to those doors later. Because I really want to explore the one that we left up here. Oh yeah, I forgot. There are ninjas now that come for us. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But yeah, you see, it cuts through everything. And I keep pushing the wrong button. So, yeah, that's that's all that happens. You dinosaur just respawn. <clears throat> Let me head back to this area, though. So that's cool, it just cuts straight through the shield there. So we're gonna explore this little hidey hole, see if there's a secret down here or something. Ooh. Yo, there's a little alien dude. Oh, he's hostile. Energy upgrade. That's awesome. I didn't notice that before. That's really helpful. Oh my god, if I had if I had that before, my life would have been so much easier. So now I know when they say upgrade, there's a damn upgrade in that area. Alright. They're not yanking my chain or nothing. Oh yeah, ninjas. So I'm just gonna run through there because they're really such a hassle to deal with. Gonna break through this area. Oh, another ninja guy. But yeah, you see? Now I can pretty much chain that. These ninja guys have probably killed me more often than pretty much anyone else with the exclusion of bosses. But you can see it's pretty cool, and sort of explore all over the place. I was trying to drop off the ledge while casting it to get the quick cast. How is he not dead yet? Does it like fade? So that's definitely a place I'm going to try and get to. But I don't remember how, or even if I got up there last time. This is more just so you guys see what the game's like. Because it really is a fun game to play. I know it might not seem that way, because this is like my second time playing through it. Oh, I didn't have the end. Oh my god. I 
I thought I was being all slick and like dodging everything. Nope. Jumps right into a couple of bullets. But it is interesting playing through this again because there are things that I missed the first time through. Uh, that hit me, really. That now I get a chance to go back and correct. So it takes three of the energy sword slashes to kill these guys. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sort of... I don't know the best way to phase around, but... I keep getting hit so much for free. It's not good. Because this game isn't meant to be super duper challenging. It's not meant to be easy, but it's not meant to be, you know, some like... Oh my god, you have to be some sort of monster to be able to play this game. It's not meant to be like that at all. Wait, did I just go around the thing I need? <clears throat> I guess I do have to kill those ninjas because I have to get to the floor area. The good news is I can only get hit by one set of those, I think. So yeah, I killed them off there. There's no place to drop down. Ah, uh, here it is. Alright. Not getting through that very cleanly. You can equip it in the pause menu. Okay, so I think this was... The, uh... I don't see dodge. Is that an enhancement, maybe? Let's you deflect projectiles by swinging your sword. That's awesome. But you know what isn't? Dying there because you can't get through. But yeah, I see that's a nice big conglomerate of credits, or whatever you want to call the currency. Wait, do I have to die? Can I not get out? Oh, there we go. I don't know how I got the boost again, though. That's what I'm confused about. So we're just gonna nope the crap out of here. We got what we wanted. Ah, I pushed the wrong button. So we're gonna go ahead and check the map again. We have one more destructible below us. So I'll show you guys here this little red area. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head there before I head back out to where that checkpoint save was. So, just killed both of those guys. Hey, some of them had health, that's nice. So you see just three stabs and they're done. It's a lot more effective than using the bullets. To be honest, the bullets kinda suck. I don't think I came in here either. This doesn't look familiar at all. This looks like a bad idea. So 
So something broke out. Oh, these guys. These guys aren't too bad. You just gotta make sure they don't sneak up on you. But no, I've never been in here. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I was talking about, where they just set up this booby trap for me. This double energy is making this so much easier. And I didn't realize the floor wasn't just missing. So I'm gonna explore a bit more, see what's over here. Put me in here. Yeah, the key card, right? Use it on that key card module at the side of the door. Oh man, thanks for getting me out of here. Here, maybe this can help you. Obtained greed enhancement. I better get going now. Oh. Greed enhancement. Increases the currency drop by 20%. I like that. Wasn't uh, we already killed the little guy down here? I'm glad I checked that corner though, because <clears throat> when we get all the sword upgrades, we're gonna need that. That no no. If I walk all the way in, is it gonna trigger some boss fight that makes me lose all this cash? You know, this is only like tea, it might look like beer or something like this just tea. I wish it was like whiskey right now before going in that fight. Oh, there's nothing? Wait, no. Oh, these vents. can't see where the floor is. I guess... Oh, it's another alien dude! Yes! Another energy upgrade. That's awesome! Oh my god. That's... I didn't find either of those two energy upgrades before. Oh, these guys are alive and well again. So this is going to be so much easier with those two energy upgrades. I was trying to do this all with one energy bar. And it was definitely possible, but oh my god, this makes things so much easier if I can get up. I do hope we find that other checkpoint soon, because I don't want to lose all this cash that I've got. 3,000 is enough to get everything, including the shotgun, or at least everything that I've found. Or we can check the map after we get out of this area. So yeah, again, this game, let's see if I can see what it's called just on the side here. Oh yeah, it's called Beyond Human. It's a Kickstarter. I don't think my video is going to help that much in getting it attention because I'm just a small guy that just started. But if you want to try and support and help and get it through the, in these last two weeks, then go for it. I honestly think it's going to be such... It's going to be so much... It's going to be extremely worth it. Uh, of course I wasn't paying attention. I'm just gonna go pick up my money. So yeah, I'm scooping all that right back up. There's nothing else back that direction. Have to head up this way to get to where we need to go. And it'd be very helpful if I paid attention to where I was going. But I also think that, that death animation is so cool where you just sort of 
chop him up into little bitty pieces. And ha, I can deflect your crap right back at you. Mmm. Mmm. Take that, stupid ninjas. So we're gonna head back up to this checkpoint area. Uh, I'll go ahead and... Oh, it has everything here now. So, I'm just getting all the sword upgrades. I'll go ahead and get the shotgun mod. And I'll show you guys what I mean with the shotgun mod. So that's where I equipped it, or equip it. And so that's how I shoot it. And so now that I have a lot of energy, it might be somewhat worth it, because I can get right up in someone's face, and it does a lot of damage. And so... <clears throat> getting back up there is important. But that's one of the things I just got. That's one of the things I just got. And that's one of the things I just got. So I can just combo the sword stuff now. And so, when I first walked through here, I was like, wait a second, there's this big guy. Oh wait, you got babies too? What? Yo. My man. And so, even these mini boss fights are fairly challenging. <clears throat> so the first time I walked through that area, I was like, oh hey, all these little alien glass containers. What's the big deal? It seems like I should be able to do something here, but nothing's happening. Uh, but then I realized you probably just had to break it with a sword. So now he breaks out automat. Oh my. What? And the. And I can't get out. So I have to. Because I triggered that fight, I have to fight him now. I literally can't progress unless I beat him. It wasn't. It wasn't letting me do anything. It wasn't letting me do anything! I was just stuck! What? But, oh, he doesn't take damage! I hit him so many times and he took so little damage. I'm gonna see if the shotgun blasts will, you know, take him down a notch. Because the sword isn't working. If I just hop around and triple shotgun, I think I can kill him, but then these little guys. And some of them aren't getting hit by the sword slash, like that guy didn't get hit by the sword slash. Whoa, he healed me though. No, little guy, please don't ruin this for me. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. The shotgun is doing work. Yes! Oh my god! I did it, guys! Bullet catcher. Alright, what's this bullet catcher do? Where does it go? Here catch bullets and throw them back at your enemies. That sounds awesome. So is it like 
can I just charge it permanently? Okay, so it has a set duration. I'm so glad I was finally able to kill that guy. I don't know how much of that I'm going to cut out. And that took me like a f solid five or six times where I was like, let me just use the shotgun point and blank and see if that does anything. So if I'm not mistaken, heading up this way opens up the area. So if we get stuck in any sort of you have to fight the boss type situation, we can back out and come up through this passage up here. Oh yeah, this area is pretty cool too. So, note to self, shotgun, highly effective. And yeah, that's not a breakable, well, that's just a locked door. And so there are those robot guys, but I mean, as you can see, they don't really do much. And I don't remember what's up here. Oh yeah, this is just the way to get back up all the way to the top. And that's just another locked exit. So now we can get all the way back up if we feel the need. But I don't recall... I was about to say, I don't recall ever getting a green door card. That was just another checkpoint, which for some reason just... Right over my head last time. But this has more of those creepy crawly things. Okay. And yeah, you can't get back through this direction. But yeah, one issue I came across trying to fight the boss guy was that you can't just like spam one of those abilities. Wait, did I kill him and take damage at the same time? That's really not cool. But yeah, these guys really aren't too problematic, like I said before. You just kind of hack and slash through them. But you can see why this is a pretty interesting game. It's got a cool art style. Oh yeah. Yo, the shotgun doing work. This is going to be a repeat of the alien, isn't it? I got pretty close one time on the, you know, my first try, but by the end I was just trying to like skip past him. So I know I have to pretty much fight him with full health if I mess up on any of these guys. I'm pretty much just going to have to suicide and try again. But one thing is I can cancel that dash animation pretty much instantly with another regular attack. There you go. Do some damage. Bop, bop. Bop. Gotta watch for the fireball. Pa, pa, pa. There we go. Now I can shoot my own fireball. That's awesome. Lava projectile, man. Yo. That's awesome. That's it? That's all I was there for? I mean, I'll take it. Does the lava projectile hit ground units? I don't think it will. Yeah, no. Oh my god, can I just kill these guys? Thank you! So, I think I've pretty much covered everything inside the building at this point. Um... I can't think of any other areas that I might have skipped over on the first playthrough, intentionally or accidentally. It looks like I've pretty much covered every bit of that map except for the last area that we have to go to. So I'm going to be heading up there right now, and I'll get back to you guys when that happens. Alright guys, I'm back for just a quick second here. Because there is a question mark in this area. So 
so I don't know what that question mark might be. It's not down here. There it is. Health upgrade. Alright, so there you go. I found another little secret there. It's something I didn't pick up on the first time. So, health upgrade. Alright, whoops. So, I mean, that's all I found. I'll get back to you guys when I reach the very top of this climb. Alright, guys, so we're back. I basically just jumped up to the sledge here, and it's just this single room. Let's see how the fireball does. Oh, that, that did a lot less than I was hoping for. So I'll just spam him from off screen again. He seemed a lot bulkier than the other one. Alright, so... <laughs> cool little room there, just break everything. Now here is where things get really hairy and I don't think I'll be able to finish. We have this alien warrior angel of death type guy. Oh, he does actually take a decent... If I hit the right button... He does actually take... Wait, does he heal over time or something? No, he just has a really big health bar, okay. So yeah, this is the part that really messed me up. <clears throat> when he started adding all the extra stuff. Because I got a hang of all his other things. Like, you know, when he starts adding the extra stuff, I get thrown off. Oh, of course I barely miss. Every time, oh my god. So, I'm probably not gonna last much longer here. What? Oh, come on! So I never got to that part before. The part you just saw where he had like the triple melee attack convergence. But now I sort of have an idea of how to approach this boss. When before I had no clue whatsoever. Oh no, come on! I didn't even get anywhere close that time. I should move my phone before I accidentally smash that thing. I shouldn't be getting hit by these, like, early abilities. I should have those early patterns memorized by now. I mean, seriously. I can't line up the shot. Oh my god, that's pathetic. So, looking good. I think this is probably one of my better runs so far. You know, now nah, I jinxed it though, right? Oh, 
Okay, I dodged out of that. I forget, he follows up with a melee attack afterwards. Oh, I have to hit him there. That's my opportunity to hit him. Okay. Alright, this is getting really... Oh my god, I just got hit by two in a row. Not like this. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I did it. Oh. Alright, so apparently we still did miss some stuff, right? So, Big Grey apparently was the other alien. Took us six attempts to beat him. Only took us five on the angel, but those angel attempts were a lot longer. 98% exploration, items collected 88%. I have a feeling maybe there's something in that outside world that I missed. So yeah, that was the demo. Pulling up the Kickstarter page right now. Well, if it snaps the way it should... I mean, thank you. So yeah, they're not even halfway to their goal and it ends in two weeks. I really liked it though. I had a blast playing through the demo. If you guys like it, I recommend you support it. It's an all or nothing project you can see right here. It's only going to be funded if it reaches its goal. So they're not going to charge you or anything unless the goal is met and they do actually make the game which it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen but it was a lot of fun to play through and I hope this sort of opens your eyes to other sort of indie games that might require support in order to get going to get off the ground so if you enjoyed that please leave the video a thumbs up if you didn't like it leave it a thumbs down let me know why so I can improve it for next time and if you want to make sure you don't miss any more content from me Click that big shiny subscribe button and I'll love you forever. So, hope you guys had a great time. I hope you guys have a great day. Catch you in the next video.